What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to Ollie Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. We are celebrating this Friday Eve woo, 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 woo. with some hot tea. We're talking Kylie Jenner's Astro World Instagram post mm. and update on Chloe and Tristan wow. plus a lot of Bieber news. But first, some fresh car Jenna tea oh, uh, with Kim and Courtney. So there's a new Keeping Up promo just dropped this morning, <laughs> and we see Kim and Courtney fighting over the Scandyland birthday party. Of course. For North and Penelope. We've kind of been getting snippets of this fight, mm. um, but we're really seeing what I presume to be the lead up to the big, you know, when Kim's like throwing things, oh, whatever. Oh, God, man. So because they're fighting because Courtney is insisting on having chemical free organic candy, no dyes, no nothing, yada, yada, yada. Where's the fun, Madison? That's exactly what Kim is saying. She feels it's unnecessary. It's a kid's party. It's Candyland theme. She's like, I don't know why Courtney feels that we need to have like a sugar free, gluten free, fun free zone. Where are the flavors? It's literally for kids. It's going to be fine. Uh -uh. It's one day. Um, but the hilarious thing is part of Courtney's defense is she says that having these kinds of candies mm -hmm. that are not organic and mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, are not part of her brand. And it's on brand for her to have the organic candies. And Kim is just not here for that as an excuse at all. Take a look. This is not about your brand. Yeah, but I'm saying what I stand for, not even what a kid's party. Then no, why does your car have what? leather seats? Why are you wearing plastic glasses? I love how she's like, if that's your brand, then why are your sunglasses plastic? Why do you have leather seats? Your like, brand? What, what is Kourtney Kardashian's brand? The push? The push mask? The push. That's, Honestly, her, that's her brand? Push, yes, I guess that's what she's saying is like, her brand, the organic, and she is really big on that. Like, we know she's gone to Congress for clean beauty and all of those That's things. That's beautiful, but we're not reading that, and we don't care about your brand, and it's not about you. It's about your baby. Exactly. It's just a one-day kid's birthday party. We grew up on Skittles, yeah. and you know what? Are we perfect? Damn near close, but our bodies are just fine. Period. Okay, you need your dyes. You do <laughs> need your flavors. You do need your real sugar and your candy. Just once in a while, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And I feel like Courtney is making this situation more difficult. Um, of course, we're going to see this play out <laughs> further on this Sunday's episode. Help. But, you know, with those rumors of her not wanting to be on Keeping Up anymore, when I see things like that, I'm just like, Scraping okay. the bottom of the barrel. Exactly. Mm. I'm like, we're fighting about candy. This is why Courtney <laughs> maybe should exit herself. Right to the left. Right to the left, right to the right. <laughs> Let's talk about Chloe and Tristan, you guys. There's a new report from People Magazine. Where a source, I have to take a deep breath. Yeah. Because that's how frustrating this news mm -hmm. is. A source said that Tristan is still actively trying to date Chloe, despite her, you guys know, that she's been saying time and time again this week, we're just co-parents. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta love some people from afar, all of that good stuff. Every interview she's done in the past couple weeks, mm -hmm. what has she been saying? She's been saying that, you know, we're co-parenting. She doesn't want- A man. She doesn't want True to grow up feeling like she doesn't have like a happy home. Right. Her parents don't, you know, have a good rapport. It's just like, Tristan, hey, stop ignoring Chloe and just go with her wishes. Why how about, are you still trying to date her? How about most of your focus, if not all, should just be on taking good care of your children? I love that. Children. children. Did you hear that? That was plural because we forget, not we, but a lot of people forget Tristan has a whole other baby mama and a whole other son. Why are you not trying to get back with Jordan Craig? Thank you, thank you, thank you. But the source went on to say that Chloe never wanted to be bitter towards Tristan and always wanted a good relationship with him, which is exactly what they have now. She's not interested in dating him, but For my now. fear, exactly. My fear is, is that he, if he's always around, one, she's either gonna get super pissed at him mm -hmm. for continuing to go against her wishes and keep pursuing her romantically, where she's just gonna be like, get out of the picture entirely, or she's gonna give in and actually decide to date him, which would be just as bad, it's in like, my opinion. It's like you give him an inch and then he takes a mile, so stop yes. giving him an inch. Not even a centimeter. And I feel like this should totally put to rest the fact that Tristan didn't want to be with Chloe. Mm -hmm. Clearly he does. Now, does he want to be with her for the right reasons? Personally, I, I don't, don't believe so. so. Yeah. I think he's narcissistic. And I feel like because Chloe is publicly talking about how she's moved on, how she is just mm -hmm. wanting to co-parent, how she's okay just having true, now an alarm is going off in his mind that he must have her, he must get her back, even if it's just for a minute. Because let's be honest, someone who cheats on you twice 
deep down doesn't want to be with you forever. I agree. And also, it sounds like he's building up content for him to open a door for him to come onto the show. Basketball can't last forever. That's what it, that's what it sounds like. All athletes know there's always a time. There's uh. always an out time. And sometimes you need to hang up your jersey and uh, go to bed. And not try to get back with someone you cheated on twice. Exactly. Just let them live their life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's move on and talk about Kylie. Okay. Uh, she posted pictures from the Astro World Festival, <laughs> and Travis Scott. Although was on stage and kind of the Astro World Festival, he was nowhere to be found in the pictures. Where was he, Madison? I don't know, Courtney, and I'm very concerned, very confused. Travis? What the hell is going on? Robot man, where are you? We ya? said on the morning tea, not even one little <laughs> No, break. one little break. Not one <laughs> so little <laughs> iota of Travis was evident Madison, in that Instagram. The break? And he, she said she wanted to make memories, but not with him, I guess. Um, it's interesting because she also brought like all of her friends. Mm. So I'm just with confused the baby. with the baby. I would have understood it more if she just brought Stormy. Yeah. But the fact she brought her friends, I'm like, so was this a reconciliation trip? Was Is this it a just party? a party? Was this just your time to bring your friends and take in some music? But also that kind of goes against to the narrative we were hearing at the beginning of the week that, you know, this was like their get back together moment. Uh uh, I don't think it's their moment because we're also hearing that young sweet Ro allegedly was there. Right. So like if she She's there, and she's just a college student. How could she afford? I right? Ju how, or, unless potentially, allegedly, someone paying for her to come. I'm, I'm just, also just like, was Kylie supposed to come the entire time, or did she just show up? And then obviously they accommodated her because she's Kylie she's Jenner. Kylie Jenner. And she has Travis's child with mm -hmm. him, so it's not like they're gonna be like, oh, you can go in GA. Like, it's, you know it's what easy, I'm saying? It's easy for her to have that access. Right. But. I don't know, How something here just doesn't feel right. The question I want to leave y'all with, just to think on before we move on, is how does Young Sweet Row have the same access as Kylie Jenner? A college student, and a, a very popular billionaire. How do they have the same access? To me, it says Travis there's, is in I the I was going to say, there's one common denominator between those it's two. It's the braids. Yes, it's the braids. It's the braids. The braids that cannot be seen featured <laughs> on Kylie braids. Jenner's Instagram. Um, a little more Kylie news for you guys, too. The trespasser who was arrested for being on a property earlier this month. If you guys mm. remember, we filled you in on this. This guy hiked into her neighborhood, got somehow to her front door. We that were saying scary. security needs to be. Snap a neck, snap a fibula, uh, yeah, tibula. What's going on? Yeah. Um, we know the guy was claiming to be there to see Kylie. He was like aggressively banging on the door, whatever. Psycho. He was arrested mm -hmm. and he's been sentenced officially. E! News report this. Uh, he is sentenced to one year in jail. It should be five. That, I kind of feel five. like that's not enough, but at least Kylie can have peace of mind for the year. Mm -hmm. There's been consequences and hopefully this will be enough to deter him from ever trying again. From like, anyone. Agreed. Stop stalking. You it's will weird. have consequences. Is it worth it? No, it is not. Mm -mm. Okay, let's move on and talk about the Beavers, you guys. Oh. Justin Haley and their parents had a little outing earlier this week at a new burger restaurant opening uh, in West Hollywood. I gotta go there. Right? Actually, it looked pretty good. We would be there. into it. Mm. Uh, but what I'm not into is what everyone is reporting about this event. A source told Us Weekly that Justin seemed to be embracing his husband's role. <laughs> The source said he was, quote, respectful and gentle in his demeanor and was very attentive towards Haley and always had his eye on her. Well, my question to y'all in Madison Hill is, well, what was he like before the burger opening? I just don't even know why that needs to be news. Like, Y'all been married for a year and some change, right? You said it perfectly on the morning tea. That's how he should be, not even as a husband, as just a boyfriend. Yeah. In a relationship with someone, especially when their parents are around. Like. His eye should be only on Haley. Her dad is sitting right across the table. Exactly. Get it together. I don't understand why Justin Bieber gets to be rewarded for basic traits. <laughs> yeah, for, 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 like, for being a good partner? Yeah, like why does he get praise? He should already be doing those things. It should be more right. like Justin got the notebook set <laughs> and decided to have a date with Haley. Like that's something that you're like, he's so attentive. But like, I know. The source went on to say he had his arm around Haley all night. She seemed attentive towards him, which, let's be honest, not a surprise. She mm -hmm. is a really, really good, loyal wife. Um, and everyone appeared to be getting along very well. That's beautiful. More Justin Ooh. news. TMZ reports that he was spotted outside of a dance studio yesterday. So we're supposed to be getting a tour early next year. Summer, yeah, early next summer, summer 2020. So now That's the, the, sources told TMZ. the question bears repeating Madison Hill. Where is the album? Very good question. I think we're definitely going to get it next month, maybe? I mean, it has to be here soon. I want it next month. If he is preparing to be on tour, 
next summer. Put it out the same day as Camille. Remember, we're thinking it's going to be Aaron Bieber. His legal team trademarked that. Mm. We told you about that yesterday, so oh, wait, no. it's coming soon. He's got to be one week after Harry. Oh, oh yeah, let that's Harry, right. Let Harry I have know. his number one, and then you go and, and you have Justin your number one to close out the year. follow it up. Also, yes. you guys, just something to keep an eye on. There's a rumor going around on Twitter that Justin is going to make a surprise performance at the AMAs <gasps> with Dan and Shay. Mm. They're rumored to sing their song 10,000 Hours. We know Selena Gomez is confirmed to be at the AMAs. Oh. So let this just be something to keep an eye on because this could be the first run-in we get oh. with the three, Haley included, in a very, very, very long time. First time since they got married and Selena released her new music, all that good stuff. The potential for a good viral moment is... Is upon us. It's upon us. It is upon us because <laughs> Taylor Swift will be there too. And Whoop. girl cannot hide her face. Nope. That's why I love her. All right, it's time to let us know what you're thinking. What was your reaction to the new Keeping Up promo? Also, thoughts on Kylie's Astro World Instagram post. Um, I was a little confused. Uh, what are your thoughts on this latest Chloe and Tristan update? What do you think it will take for him to leave her alone? And what was your reaction to all the Bieber news, you guys? Let it out down below. Don't forget to tune into the Morning Tea tomorrow, Shambong Friday, mm. 8.30 a.m. Civic Standard Time. In the meantime, shop the Holly Scoop store, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.